The next topic is, what should I do if my puppy has an accident right after I let them out of their puppy apartment? If your puppy was in their puppy apartment for a short period of time, then you must use this opportunity to correct your puppy if you catch them having an accident. If your puppy was in their puppy apartment for a long period of time and did not potty, we suggest that you wait until they potty before letting them out. Another option is to physically pick up your puppy and hold them in your arms for a few minutes and then put them back in their puppy apartment and wait for them to potty before you let them out. While you're holding them or closely supervising them, you can also give them some water to help them urinate faster. Your puppy will learn that when they potty in their puppy apartment, they're able to be with you and play with you. Please remember that accidents are normal during level 1 training and in time your puppy will have less accidents as long as you follow our training tips. The next topic is, what should I do if my puppy is peeing but not pooping in their puppy apartment? Make sure you correct your puppy if you catch them having a pooping accident. Your puppy must learn that it's not okay to poop anywhere except for the puppy apartment or outside. Once again, accidents are great training opportunities to teach your puppy where not to potty. Whenever your puppy does poop in their puppy apartment, it is extremely important to immediately praise your puppy and give them a treat as a reward for good behavior. This will teach your puppy that good things happen when they poop in their puppy apartment. If your puppy is used to pooping outside, we suggest having them do that as little as possible until they are 100% potty trained with the puppy apartment as it may confuse them and make it more difficult to poop in the puppy apartment. Another tip is to pick up your puppy if you start to see them circle or sniff before they poop and place them in their puppy apartment. Predicting your puppy's pooping is much easier because puppies normally do a little dance before pooping and you will learn your puppy's particular pooping dance with time. Pooping times are much easier to predict than peeing times, so we also suggest that you notate what times of the day they like to poop and have them near their puppy apartment at those times of the day. Our optional PTPA playpen is a great device to keep your puppy close to their puppy apartment for pooping times when you're not able to supervise them. A last resort suggestion is to smear a small amount of their poop on the corner of a potty pad to help encourage your puppy to poop in their bathroom. The next topic is, is it important that I thoroughly clean any potty stains on my carpet? It is extremely important to thoroughly clean all potty stains on your carpet and flooring. Dogs have an incredible sense of smell and are known to potty in the same areas in which they pottied before. We suggest using a cleaner that destroys all traces of urine odors and pet pheromones to break the cycle of resoiling that area. The next topic is, how much freedom should I give my puppy during level 1 training? Any freedom you give your puppy during level 1 training should always be supervised. The best time to allow supervised freedom during level 1 training is right after your puppy is pottied as they will probably not potty for another hour or two. Try to always keep them confined to one area of your home that is near the puppy apartment. For example, you can gate off your kitchen, your bathroom, or a laundry room. Using our optional PTPA playpen during the daytime may be a better and more practical solution than gating off one of your rooms. The PTPA playpen is not only useful during the daytime to give your dog a little more freedom, it may also help them easily transition into level 2 training. We do not recommend using the PTPA playpen at night during level 1 training as this will be too much freedom. We suggest waiting until you reach level 2 training to use the PTPA playpen at night which is discussed in more detail later in this video. If for any reason you are not seeing results in a reasonable time frame during level 1 training, you can experiment with level 2 training. Some dogs actually do better at level 2 than at level 1, however we only suggest trying this experiment in an extreme situation. 